Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. So today I'm turning this £1.50 plastic box that I got from Holmbergins into a beautiful trinket box. So welcome to the channel if you've not been here before and welcome back to those who have uh, been here before and have subscribed. So first I'm going to do this craft haul like I got. I got these um, Easter cutters. I am going to use them for an idea I got from Claire's Crafty Corner. Um, I got the trinket box, like I said, that was pound fifty. I got the cutters from the works in the UK. Um, I also got this little wooden bunny. I've been looking for some um, little wooden bunnies, so I thought I'd try this one. This was pound fifty. I got this, uh, it's a chocolate mould tray, but I thought I could possibly use it for resin. Once I get some more resin, that was £2. And then I got this box of eggs, so it's a... A box that you make it's got all the supplies in it for making little easter eggs with but i do do some absolutely stunning easter decorations with these so tune in for the next one don't forget to subscribe to the channel to watch that there will be a sneak peek of it further on in the video but believe me they are absolutely beautiful yes yeah, so i got those and then i got this dragon oh, oh i got some mod podge <laughs> Um, I've never bought the Mod Podge before, um, so I thought I'd treat myself like you do. And then I got this dragon. I've got an idea for this dragon for the year of the dragon, but it's still um, fermenting in my head, let's just say. I'm still trying to figure it out. So let's see what's coming up in the next few weeks. So we've obviously got Valentine's Day coming up. Um, we've got Easter coming up. Um, we have the Year of the Dragon coming up and we also have something called St Brigid's Day, I think it's called, and it's an Irish celebration. And I'm not sure what that is. I did think it was on the 1st of February and I thought I'd missed it, but apparently it's on the 5th of February. So if you know what it is, um, from the reading up on it that I did, it's um, a celebration of spring and of new hope and of feminine which i thought was really nice um so if you do know where it is please do pop it in the comments and let me know what saint brigid's day is and am i saying it right i do apologize for any revving in the background the local idiot is going around on his motorbike again Yes, so let's get started. So I took all the labels off the tub, the box, and then I just give it a quick clean over. Um, it has been sat um, around for a few days, so I just give it a quick clean up, clean over. Um, yeah, so I do want this to match the wall art piece that I did a couple of weeks ago. Um, there's a, a picture of it coming up here. So I did want it to match that. Not exactly, but I just wanted to use the same um, napkins that I'd used on that one that I'd decoupaged so I got those napkins out again and I measured the hair see what I would need to put on there and then I just began to decoupage it on So I probably used way too much Mod Podge on this. Um, I, like I say, it's the first time using it. I just normally use normal school glue or something like that. But I thought I'd treat myself and get some Mod Podge. Um, like I say, I probably did use way too much. I'm not sure. But it did stick it very well and it stuck it straight away. So I was quite happy about that. So 
So I just made sure everywhere was covered around the sides and um, I wanted it to cover the whole top and not just be like placed on top of the top. I wanted it to cover all around it. So I tried to position it so that it would cover it all. And once I got it in the place where I wanted it, I just went over again with my podge, just smoothing it down, trying to get all the wrinkles out as much as I could and smoothing it around the edges. Now you would have seen me tear it there. That was just so it would go around the corner. It doesn't do anything um, like, doesn't have any negative impact on anything. It just makes sure that the napkin lies over itself and everything is smooth. So once it was all covered and I got it where I liked it, I just left it to one side uh, for just for a couple of hours to let the Mod Podge set. Now, I was going to get the uh, nail file out and try and get it off while it was still wet, but I thought to myself, no, I better wait until it's dry, really, just so that it, it's stiffer, if you know what I mean. So it was during this time that I realised that you could actually see through the paper and it hadn't adhered who I'd like it. So what I ended up doing was um, I ended up going underneath in the inside of the box and just putting in some gesso in there. You'll see that in a, a little while. Ouch, a bit my tongue then. <laughs> You'll see that in a little while. But first what I did was I went over the bottom of the box just with some pink acrylic paint. I did about three or four coats of it, letting it dry in between um, just to make it more pleasable to the eye. More pleasable? Is that a word? Pleasable? More pleasant? <laughs> now here's where I squeeze out way too much of the gesso. Um, so what you'll see me do is I have some Christmas decorations that I'm making white ready for to do some decoupaging on and things. So I just use what's left over of the gesso and I uh, go over and I paint those again. Now you must admit it does look a lot better with the white underneath. Um, <clears throat> so now I'm just adding on these little crystals. They're just basically little sticky back crystals on a roll that I got from the range. I think the roll was a pound, something like that. And I'm just measuring them out and putting them on in, in strips. Um, so the, the actual roll comes, I think there's four rolls on it. So I just use the scissors and cut down the middle of it got it to the length I wanted in a single strip and then used that, peeled the backing off and just stuck it on. So it's crafts like these guys that I think would be ideal to do with the kids. They could easily make something like this for the mum, for Mother's Day, Valentine's Day, for grandmas, for friends. I just think it's really easy to do with kids. There's no um, chemicals involved in it. It's basically just glue, paint and, and sticky crystals. And it, that's it. And for, I'd say, I probably spent, what, £2 making this? And you must admit, it, it looks a lot more expensive than £2 when it's finished. So what do you think, guys? I absolutely love it and I think it's a perfect match for the tray that I made for the wall art. So please do give me a thumbs up if you've liked this video. 
and please do subscribe if you're not because this is coming up next and I'm so excited to show you these that I made. Anyway, yeah, please do give me a thumbs up because it's that that pushes us out into the YouTube community, so to speak. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.